guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this really easy to achieve glamorous look using nude colours in different parts of the face. So my first step is going to be applying my face primer. I'm using my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer and just using my hands to blend that into my bare skin. Then I'm going to take my liquid foundation. I'm using the Armani Luminous Silk Liquid and I'm just going to be applying that in all areas of the face. And then I'm going to be taking my Real Technique sponge and just bouncing that onto my skin to create a nice even layer of colour. I've been absolutely loving this method for applying my foundation recently. It just builds a really even layer and it just looks really flawless, so it's a really good way of applying it. Next, I'm going to be applying my base for my eyeshadow. I'm using my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and I'm going to be applying that with my fingers and just creating a nice even layer of that to prep our eyes for the eyeshadows that we're going to apply. Next, I'm going to take the Nude Tube Palette by The Balm and taking this very light reflective colour and applying it onto my inner corner. And this is just going to emphasise our inner corner and make it look nice and glowy and bright. Next, I'm going to take this matte brown colour from the same palette and use a blending brush to apply that into my crease. And what I want to do is just work it as much as possible because this is the only crease colour we're going to be applying. And we're just going to work that colour into the crease and just use lots of back and forth motions and little circular motions just to make sure that colours is blended as possible and you can see that I just go crazy in the crease and just make sure that it's nice and blended. And as well as blending upwards I'm also blending outwards slightly because we're going to be doing a winged liner and that will just go really nicely with the whole extended look. Next I'm going to take this Barry M pigment, this is like a loose glitter pigment and this would work really well wet so I would recommend wetting it, I didn't wet it but I regretted it after I had done it because it is quite loose so I'm just patting that on with the same brush and yeah I'm just going in side to side motions but I would recommend wetting it because I think it would have a lot less fallout if you did wet it. Next I'm going to be applying my The Balm Schwing Eyeliner and this has been my absolute favourite eyeliner recently because it's so black and it dries to a really gorgeous matte finish no matter what eyeshadow you have on underneath it. So I'm just going to be doing a normal line on my lid and then I'm going to be winging that out to a nice wing and I'm going to do like a medium thickness of a wing, you can go as thick or as thin as you like but I'm just going to take that same wing that I would usually do from the same place which is just where my bottom lash line is and just extend it upwards and then I'm going to connect them two lines and then gradually make it thicker. Next I'm going to be taking a nude coal pencil and applying that into my waterline to create a nice open bright eyed look. Then I'm going to apply my mascara on my top and my bottom lashes and then I'm going to apply my false lashes. These are the Red Cherry 47 lashes and they're just a really nice spiky full voluminous lash. Next I'm going to apply my concealer and I'm going to be applying it in an upward motion. That way it will give me a more lifted cheekbone look and then I'm going to be applying it onto my other high points such as my forehead, nose, cupid's bow and chin. To blend in that concealer I'm using the same sponge I used to apply my foundation and I really like using this method because it just creates a really seamless look. You can't see where the concealer starts or finishes and it just looks really natural but really defined at the same time. And plus it's really easy as well, you don't need to be too neat with it. Then I just like to take my finger and just use it to get into the more detailed areas like on the inner corners, underneath the place that we put our makeup and it just it's just easy. I like using my fingers for the areas that I need it. Next I'm going to take the Mineralize Skin Finish in light by MAC and just apply it to brighten my under eye area and just use a really small amount of it to set the areas that I want to set such as the areas that I get oily on my cheeks, my nose and my forehead. Next I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using my spiked eyebrow pencil and I'm just going to create more of an arch than I actually have because I don't have much of an arch. And 
and then I'm just going to gradually fill it in just using lots of stroking motions. You don't want to use colouring motions because that creates something that's really unnatural. You just want to stroke through it almost as if you're creating little hairs. And then taking a little spoolie brush, you just want to brush through the inner corner of the brow to create a nice faded effect. And then what I like to do is take a lighter brow mascara and just apply it onto my hairs to create a more lighter brow effect and it just makes my brows look a lot less harsh as well. Next I'm going to be taking my concealer, this is my Bob Brown concealer in beige and I'm just going to be using an angled brush to correct under my eyebrow and also to lift it as well, it just creates a really natural brow highlight. Then I'm going to be applying my bronzer, this is my Bobbi Brown bronzer in golden light and I just absolutely love this. I'm going to be applying on my cheekbone and forehead area and just create a really Really nice sun kiss look. Then I'm going to be taking my The Balm Bahama Mama to contour just slightly underneath my cheekbone. Then I'm taking The Balm Hot Mama which is a really pretty orangey peach blusher with like a gold undertone and it just looks really nice and sun kissed again. And then I'm going to be taking my Mary Luminizer by The Balm and just using that as my highlight and it's really 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 dramatic to be honest so you just want to be as natural as you can. As you can see it does come out quite pigmented but I just like to blend that in with my finger after just to make it look a little bit more soft. And finally I'm going to be doing the lips, this is my favourite lip combo ever, this is the Cream O Spice Lip Liner by MAC and then I'm going to be filling in my lips with MAC Honey Love Lipstick and this has just been my absolute favourite nude combo. It just complements my skin tone really really well and it's just the perfect nude for me and it's just a really nice beige nude but it actually has a little bit of a pink undertone as well so I just absolutely love it. And then what I like to do is just go around that colour again with a bit of the lip liner just to define it a little bit more. Then lastly I'm just going to be doing some finishing touches like just creating a little bit more of an inner corner highlight and also doing some mascara on my false lashes as well just to create some extra dimension on my lashes. So guys, that is the end of this look. I hope you've enjoyed this really simple but effective glamorous tutorial. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.